Do you know when like something smells really bad, but you just like keep smelling it? Why? Why am I doing that? Welcome back. Today we are talking about three drugstore makeup products that have surprised me. Now, two of them surprised me in a good way, one in a not so good way. These are all things that I picked up recently and I've been putting to the test that I want to share with you. If you are new, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If you love makeup and cheap shit, you are in the right place. Go ahead and hit subscribe so we can see you here next time too. Let's start with the product I am most excited about, and this is a mascara. I love finding new drugstore mascaras, love drugstore mascaras in general. There is a Rite Aid near my house that is closing, and so all of the makeup has been 50% off, and I think I realized it like a little bit too late. Like by the time I got there, it was pretty picked over, but I did get a bunch of stuff all three things you're gonna to see today, and this mascara. So this is from Revlon, and it is their new Volumazing Mascara. Now this surprised me because I don't think I have ever liked a Revlon mascara before. I don't know, Revlon and I just like don't get along that well with makeup. I was talking about it in my makeup brands that I own a lot of products of, that I have tons and tons of Revlon lip products, but not really anything else. I now have a mascara and another face product that I'm loving as well. But this one surprised me the most because I usually don't like Revlon mascaras. I don't think I have ever used a Revlon mascara and decided to repurchase it. Usually they just really, I don't know, they don't get along well with my eyelashes, but this one is a win. This reminds me a little bit of the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara, just like the original one. It has a very traditional mascara wand with those fluffy bristles. I tend to like those formulas the most. It doesn't have any sort of weird smell. It just smells like mascara. But what I like is that this gives me a lot of volume and a lot of kind of fluffy volume, if that makes sense. I feel like it is like a little baby sister to the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. It's not that good. I do love that mascara, but that one has a steep price tag. This one is almost as good. I haven't had any flaking or smudging with this. That's not generally a problem I have with mascaras. However, it's not a waterproof formula or anything like that, which is my preference. I don't like waterproof formulas. I can put this on my lower lashes and not get any smudging under there at all. So yes, I am loving this and super excited that I decided to pick it up. The next thing I'm gonna show you is an eyebrow pencil. And it surprised me as well because of the brand. I don't know. I just decided to try some things that I wouldn't normally try because you know, it was half price, and it is a brow pencil from CoverGirl. What is this called? It is the Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in Soft Brown. Okay, this says Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. This says Easy Breezy Brow Micro Fine and Define. Which, I, I don't know which, I guess this is the name. I'm, I'm not sure. For some reason, I've just been into brow pencils recently. I've just really been excited to try them. I did a roundup video a couple of months ago of a bunch of drugstore eyebrow pencils, and there's actually gonna be like a part two coming because I just, I keep trying more. And this one, I really didn't think I was gonna like it, but you guys, this is super nice. It's called Ultra Fine, and it really is a small point. I would say it's most similar from what I have currently to the brow pencil I have from Koki Cosmetics. I really like that one as well. But I find that it can really get in there and just be a little bit more precise. I also find that sometimes eyebrow pencils, I like them on the tail end of my brow, but I have to be really, really careful on the front, like on the inner part, or it gets too, it can be too much too easily. And this one, I don't have that problem with. And I think it's because it's a little bit more dry. It's not so creamy that I have to be really careful when I'm applying it. I also just lucked out with the shade. I mean, this is the perfect brown for my eyebrows in particular. And my eyebrows are very, very dark naturally. And I find that sometimes, usually brow pencils are either too light or too dark. And this one has like enough ashiness. It's just, it just happens to be the perfect color for my eyebrows in particular. I really like the spoolie on the other end because it's nice and thin. Um, it is kind of long, but it's not like a thick one. And I feel like I can really get in there and brush out my brows. So yes, I, CoverGirl, I'm sorry, I doubted you. Revlon and CoverGirl, I doubted you, but you know, you're putting on some good shit. Let me know if you guys have tried other new things from CoverGirl recently, because now I'm curious. Okay, and the last thing is something that I don't like, but it's still something I thought I wouldn't like. I just dislike it differently than I thought I would, if that makes sense. I finally tried a butter product from Physicians Formula. I have their Butter Highlighter in Pearl. Now, you guys know I have resisted buying anything from the Butter Collection because of two things. One, the smell, and two, the price. However, 
You guys keep wanting me to try them. So when I saw this for half price, I decided it was worth it to give it a try. First of all, I just don't like the packaging. I mean, this is a small thing, but I really don't like products where you have to twist off the lid because this is shit for tuck to steal while I'm using it and then I can't, you know, find it because it's no longer attached. Small thing if you have a problematic cat like I do. And I knew I wouldn't like the smell. I don't like the smell. I know people love the scent of these products. It is beyond me why they would bottle this shit in a perfume. I personally find it awful. I mean, it smells like sunscreen. And, and to me, sunscreen is not a good smell. Like it's not like, yay, I smell like sunscreen. I'm always trying to find sunscreens that don't smell. It's like sunscreen and like uh, like cocoa butter kind of. I don't know, it's very weird to me, but it's fine. Once it is on my face, the smell doesn't linger too much. So it's not a huge problem in that way. It's more of an annoyance. So those are the things that I thought would annoy me. What actually is my problem with this, with this product is that you guys, this is some chunky highlight. Now I feel like the reason I'm surprised by this is probably because I just wasn't paying attention when people were talking about it. People may be talking about this already. I just never felt that inspired to buy these products. So, so I probably just honestly wasn't, wasn't paying attention. But this is one of the chunkiest, like most glittery highlighters I've tried in a very long time and I hate it. I mean, it's dramatic. So if you want something dramatic, I mean, on camera, I feel like with the lights, it just really pops. If that's the type of look you're going for, you might like it. First of all, I'm not going for that type of look. So that's the problem right there. But then in person, it just sits right on top of the skin and it is a stripe of glitter on my face and I just can't get on board. I guess the reason I'm surprised by it is that I feel like the bronzers and the and the blushes are known for being really subtle. And so I kind of assumed this was going to be the same thing, like a subtle glow on the face and it is not at all. So I did pick up a lot of other makeup on that same shopping trip, but I want to talk about these three today because they just really surprised me. It just wasn't what I was expecting. Let me know if there's anything like that that you have tried recently. I would love to hear about it in the comments. And I will see you guys here very soon. Bye. So those are just three things that have surprised me recently. Like I just, so I wanted to share these three products. So I wanted to share these three products with you today because they just really, it's about the three drugstore makeup products that have surprised me recently. Two of them surprised me in a good way. One in a, in a not so good, not bad, bad. All right. And then the last thing we're going to, uh -huh.